Hello, welcome back to Art of Awakening. My name is Ona Christie, and today we're going to be discussing the first hermetic principle, which is one of the universal spiritual laws, and this is the law of mentalism. So the law of mentalism simply states that everything that exists is um, basically mental, right? That it originates as consciousness. And so this is a really simple idea, but it is so fundamental <laughs> to everything that is that it's, it's really considered the, the primary universal law that everything else hinges on. Okay, so let's look at kind of three different aspects or three different things to kind of keep in mind when we're thinking about the law of mentalism. Um, the first one being just the idea that consciousness is where everything starts, right? So energy, power, um, you know, the material world, it all starts as a concept. And this is a really, really powerful idea because it's, it comes back to that old saying, thoughts kept in mind produce after their kind. And so it really shows us that our beliefs and our, our, our thoughts about something, you know, that our thoughts actually do trigger and create. So when we have an idea about, about something, whether it's something that we want to do, something we want to bring into the world, it always starts with consciousness. And then it moves through, you know, the emotions and into action. We, we can actually bring that into being. So if you're going through life with a really negative attitude or negative thoughts, that, that is what you tend to create. Okay, and there's, there's a lot more um, spiritual principles that relate to that act of creation, but for now that's kind of the basic idea. Um, okay, so that's, that's number one. Number two, and, and maybe this is number one, is like the idea of the oneness of the universe. Okay, and which is why uh, the principle of mentalism also relates to the law of one or the law of divine oneness. And that is the idea that everything is an emanation of this one universal consciousness that is all that is, that unites everything, okay? And this beautiful concept because then we realize, we start to realize that we are in relationship with everything and that we are actually divine. You know, each one of us is divine, that we each have that divine spark and that we're all a, a facet of this one mind. Um, parallel to that, is the law of self, right? As, as the one manifests into the world, it has to manifest as many diverse things in order for things to actually progress. And so each one of us being one of those aspects of the divine, um, we have our own you know, individual unique energy frequency that we are, okay? And it is really our responsibility we, we can't be responsible for anything else it doesn't mean we don't have responsibility to everything else but it, it means that we need to really respect ourself as a divine being and that we are the only one that is actually the caretaker of that you know once we reach adulthood and so the law of self really encourages us to first of all recognize our own divine nature and also to be stewards of ourselves and and th and that kind of goes into you know recognizing if you're being depleted recognizing where your boundaries are recognizing you know and and protecting yourself right stepping up as a protector and provider to your own self because you can't you know, none of us can be really in service to the others or fulfill our purpose in the world if we are depleted, right? So there's that sense. Okay, so within this, um, you know, law of, of the, this principle of, of, of mentalism really contains a lot of core concepts that are really, really critical to being a fulfilled and um, 
you know, healthy individual and to one's spiritual progression or ascension. And I feel like this is something that, you know, you can learn about the principle of mentalism and the law of one, the law of self, and this idea of, um, you know, how things begin in thoughts. And it's easy to kind of think about those, but as you start to really sit with these concepts, it, I know as I've been doing this over the past few months, it's really, I'm realizing just how profound this is. You could spend lifetimes really studying this principle <laughs> and, and still not really fully grasp the enormity of it all. Um, so what I would love to do is encourage you to take a little time after you, after you watch this video and I would encourage you first to spend a little time just kind of centering into the heart, breathe into the heart, and then maybe grab a journal and center in the heart and then just ask your higher self, right? What do I need to know right now about this universal law, right? What do I need to know about the principle of mentalism or about the law of one or about the law of self, right? And then allow the pen to move, allow yourself to just receive whatever it is that your higher self is wanting to tell you. Because remember, your higher self is that divine aspect of you that is fully connected with, with the divine of everything, <laughs> right? And so it will speak to you, and I would encourage you to really tune in. And then finally is this concept of freedom because I think that's that's a really big thing coming forward, um, a big theme for humanity right now. And I guess I'm going to leave that be for now, maybe it's a subject of another video, but I'd encourage you also to ask your higher guides, right? Um, what does freedom mean? What What is freedom? What does freedom mean to me? What does it mean, you know, to be free where are you know, some places in my life that I'm not free or I'm, that I'm not uh, allowing others to be free or where, where, you know, where does freedom take me, you know, in its, if you follow it to its logical extreme. Okay, so have fun with this and I will follow up. I'll be, this is the first of a series of at least seven. I'll be at least covering the, the seven hermetic principles in this series. And uh, so if you haven't subscribed yet, if you'd like to continue with this, do hit that subscribe button. If you feel anybody could, uh, that you know could benefit from this, uh, uh, share it with them. And uh, then I'll just catch you next time. And remember, you were born to be free.